Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about spring decorating. Um, first I'm going to show you just a few things I picked up over the weekend. Then I'm going to go ahead and unbox all my previous year's Easter and spring decorations. And then I'll give you guys a little peek into how I styled everything around my house. So first I'm going to get started with the things I picked up. Um, the first thing is I picked up a set of plates. And these were from TJ Maxx and I paid $2.99 a piece. And these are actually melamine plates. Um, I would have preferred like a glass or ceramic, whatever. But this print was just too cute. And it's got kind of like that, um, almost like the hand cast type look to it where it's not perfectly smooth. I think you can see when I flip it like that. Um, so these are just salad plates, which I will stack with my plain white plates up until Easter is over. Next, I went to Target, and of course, I went to the dollar spot. I only grabbed one thing from the dollar spot this time, and I picked up a table runner. Um, for Easter, I have one that I will show you because I'm not going to bring this out till after, but I'm going to unwrap it right now and show you guys. This is just a plain white one, and it's got like a little uh, kind of like trim around it. And I thought that this would be nice after I put away the Easter one because the only other one I have is like a muslin or burlap type one and I just thought that this looked kind of country but also polished at the same time and that was three dollars uh, the next two things I picked up are some fake plants and flowers that I found the first I'm going to show you is at Target and it's this rosemary plant and this is seriously like the best fake plant I have ever seen um, if you don't touch it you almost can't tell that it's fake it was $7.99, and it's by the line Lloyd and Hannah. And if you want to find this in your store, in my store, it was back in the garden section, like in the very back of the store where they keep like all the outdoor cushions and the like little gardening trowels and stuff. It was on an end cap in that section, and there was a couple other plants, but the rosemary just looked so good. Um, I don't know if you can see like in the camera, it's not shiny and fake plastic looking. It looks it's it's so realistic um, and I have this pot right here that I'm gonna put it in that I picked up last year at TJ Maxx and I had one of those IKEA plants in it but this is actually made for rosemary so this is perfect and I'm gonna put that in my kitchen window and I'll show you guys how that turned out when I take you on the little tour at the end and then the last item that I hauled for this video to show you guys is some fake flowers um, and it's these tulips. I picked these up on eBay and they came from China, but actually they came here in a little over a week. So the shipping was super fast. I've been looking for realistic looking tulips. They're called like real touch and the petals are all made of latex instead of like silk or fabric. So they have like a super realistic look. Um, I just got these today. But I'm really happy with the way they look. They do have a smell to them, but I noticed that it's getting less, so I'm hoping that it'll just air out and go away completely. And these cost about $8 a dozen, and they come in other colors. I'll put the link to the auction that I bought them from, because I think it's still going. You can buy them different colors. Um, but I'm really happy with them overall. The only thing I might have to work on is I notice at the bottom... If you're going to display them in a clear vase, this glue you can pick it out, but mine are going to be in a vase that you can't see through, so I'm okay with that. But that's something to keep in mind if you were going to be putting them in like a clear vase with water, or even acrylic water, is that you're going to have to pick this uh, hot glue off the bottoms first. But other than that, these are exactly what I was looking for. So now I'm going to insert a video of me unboxing all of last year's and the previous year's decorations and then I'll show you guys what I did around the house. So I went through my stash and I pulled out all the things for spring decor that I have just sitting on my shelves. Um, I just have some floral branches here, a wreath. Up here I have some herbs for the back porch, some sheep and lambs that I'm going to put out, some more floral my little chick mold, a little bird, some wooden objects, some nests, some more birds and chickens, and a wood piece. And then down here I pulled out some pillows and cushions. So I have the dog bed cushion, two chair cushions. Um, I think this is the combo I'm going to go with for now for spring. I have these striped pillows for the couch. 
I'm gonna just switch out the covers and then I liked it with this one that I sewed up I think two years ago and then on my other couch I just got out these two to use together the blue and white polka dot and the blue and white floral and then in these boxes here I have all my spring and like strictly Easter stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox those now and show you guys so first I have some more textiles. I've got my spring duvet cover and in this bin I've got a cover that I throw on the couch, um, some dining room curtains because I switched those out for spring and summer and then I've got different curtains for my bathroom. They're just a little bit lighter. Okay so I've got a bunch of Target dollar spot goodies from last year. I've got this banner with the felt bunnies. I've got another banner here that says Happy Easter when you stretch it out and it's just on like a whitewashed wood. I've got this table runner, which I really love, with the little pom-poms. I picked up two of these guys. And then these two signs, I believe, are also from last year. Egg Hunt and Let's Go on an Egg Hunt. I've got a few things in my bin from TJ Maxx. So this guy I showed you guys last year, and I love him just as much this year. I also have this large wooden rabbit. I have some eggs, um, some chalkboard ones I didn't open yet, so I might end up painting these because it doesn't seem that I'm going to use them as chalkboard ones. And then I've just got a bag here of random little ones. I've got a small collection of egg cups, and these were also a TJ Maxx or Marshall's find last year. Um, I've got two shades of pink, and they all have flowers on the inside. And then there's a blue one and a yellow one. And I just think these look cute in cubby shelves. Um, when I'm done, I'll show you guys how I styled everything. I'll give you a quick little tour of things I updated. I've got this sign, which was a Walmart, I think, last year. This is one of my favorite pieces. This came from Walmart a few years ago, um, and you just put a little egg in there. But I just love the look of him. I think he's really cute. And then I've got this cotton ball bunny that I got at Goodwill. You just put a little cotton ball in for his tail. And then the last thing I had packed away in these bins was this little candle set that I picked up. And I remember getting this at the Goodwill outlet. Um, I saved it because I want to use this little uh, container here. And these candles, I don't know, maybe I'll gift them to somebody. But I found it actually new with tags. So I just put that away. So that's all the stuff that I have saved up for spring. And I'm going to go and start decorating now and then I'll show you guys what I did. I'm going to start right here in the living room and I'll show you guys what I did to switch up for spring. On this end table I put those ceramic boots and I just put some forsythia branches in them. And most of the stuff you're going to see has been like other hauls that I've done. So if you remember those came from Goodwill. I've just got them on a stack of my country living books. For the couch I switched up the pillows. I just went to a blue and white ticking stripe which is actually... Um, part of an Ikea duvet set. I just cut them down, like stitched the ends shut so they'd be shorter. And then this one here is one of those envelope style pillows that I made. And I stayed up late the other night using the fabric shaver on the couch. Um, I know it sounds really lame, but it made such a big difference. So I did that. Over here, I just went back to the normal display for spring and summer. And I have my dog book collection. And then these are just, it was a shelf from Hobby Lobby that I cut in half to make corbels out of. Um, so I just stuffed them on the end of the books. Above that, my two tobacco baskets. Then over on the other side is that little cubby shelf that I love to decorate. So I just put my and sign up top, and that's from Target years ago. That's that little Walmart birdcage. I painted it oil rub bronze for now. And then in here, I've got a clock, some putts sheep, an egg cup. That's that Walmart bunny displayed backwards. In the center one here, I've got another putts sheep under a cloche. And I know he's getting some glare on him, so you can't see him too great. In here, I just have a Kodak brownie camera. Another alarm clock. This bunny from Walmart that I love and another Kodak camera. 
And then just sitting here on the top, I have some books. And the farmhouse charm one I got for Christmas. The others are all yard sale finds. This bird was from Hobby Lobby at the beginning of winter. And that is one of those Ikea plants. And then here on my little love seat, I just put this little white throw over the back. I had like a sweatery type one for the fall and winter. I love this nubby one for spring and summer. And then some pillows. That pillowcase came from the Goodwill Outlets. I found it in the bins and it was in really good condition. That one I picked up at a consignment store and that was a tablecloth, a grain sack one that I found at Salvation Army and turned into a pillow. And then right here on the table next to it, I just have some more books. And I just picked up that Style and Simplicity one, so I actually still have to read that. A glass lamp. One of those Target bunnies. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that my husband bought me a Magnolia sweatshirt. Um, and then this was in the box, so this was like a cute little surprise. So I'm going to get a bud vase for that. And I love this section so much more now that I did that dresser update. So if you watched that video, you saw that I modified this to give it a more farmhouse look. And then I've got those wooden mirrors that I got on a crazy deal. And then for spring, I just changed this up a little bit. This bunny is from TJ Maxx. I've got my cotton in my little seated glass vase. A book. And then behind it all, I just have a wooden bin. I kept the grain sack up on the wall. I'm going to keep that up year-round because I like that. And then until the cold weather's gone, I just have my little electric fireplace over here for now. Um, I'll be putting that away for when it starts to get warmer, but right now I have it in case the nights get cold. So now I'm going to show you guys the dining room. And out here, I just did a little bit of updating to this section. I put some books there. And they're all dog-themed ones, along with my vintage fan and that little vintage dog toy. And then I just put a bird nest on top of a mercury glass candlestick. And I love decorating with bird nests for spring. There's like so many ways you can display them. Um, I might do a video about that. I'm still thinking about it. But for now, that's what I have here. And then on the table behind me, I just have my Easter table runner. And that is from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then I have my dough bowl for right now. This is how I have it displayed. I just have some fake hydrangeas in it. And then these little carrot rolls that I got from Walmart. And I'm thinking of other ways to do this too. I thought it might be nice with like eggs or something in it. But this is what I landed with right now. I changed up the curtains. I just went to white for the spring and summer. And then the chair pads I put on the little floral ones. So that's what I did here in the dining room. Now I'm going to take you guys to the kitchen. So out here in the kitchen, this is probably my favorite update, is these fake tulips. They're the latex ones that I showed at the beginning of the video, and I just love how realistic these look. So I just stuck them in that little bunny vase. And then that rosemary plant is up here on the top shelf. And then next to it, I have some books with an egg cup, that fake chocolate mold, and a little pitcher in the back. Over here, all I changed out was I added that little dog head down in the bottom corner. I had an empty spot after I took out a small wreath at Christmas. And on the other side, I have these shelves, which are one of my favorite spots to decorate for the seasons. So I'll start up top here. I just added that little bird dish and an egg cup. Here I brought my asparagus print back out. And my little hen dish. A baking powder container and a book. Down here, I kept out the veterinary manuals. I keep these out year round and I just change up what goes with them. So I have this cheese box back here and I cut apart one of those garlands and just put them loosely in it. And then here I have a little sheep that was a Christmas ornament. Down below, I have my scale, and I put a stack of carrots on top of that. And then here I have a bay leaf container that I picked up at yard sales, 
and a little wire basket. This was that Easter egg garland. I couldn't figure out where to hang it, so I took it apart. Um, I think I need to get some more eggs to go in there, though. It feels a little empty to me. On this shelf, I have another bird nest. And I just put that on a stack of books with that fern that came from Good uh, Savers, not Goodwill. Um, and I just love how like it's got the browning leaves and stuff. It makes it look so real. And then I have the little lamb from Walmart. And then down here, my dog bowls. Um, the only people <laughs> with Ray Dunn in my house are the dogs because that's all I've found that I really wanted so far. So they both have a little bowl that says Saver. And then we also have the water bowl that says Slurp. But that is all I did in the kitchen for right now. So now I'll show you guys the few changes I made in the bathroom. So I just updated this little laundry shelf here in the bathroom and I took a metal basket and put some eggs in it. And these were just like white eggs from Walmart a few years ago and they were dyeable. Um, they didn't take the dye grate so they turned out pastel which worked perfect. And if you want to see I actually can't fill the entire thing so I stuffed paper towels down in the back because you can't see it when you're standing on the ground. You'd have to like pull it down and look. So that's a little secret. And I have another one of those bunnies up there. Over here I just put that green uh, vase with the flowers back out and I took away the pine branches. And then I updated the curtains. And this is going to be one of my goals for this summer is to replace these. I want to sew something out of like a really fine ticking stripe or even maybe a grain sack. So I'm going to start looking around at the fabric to sort of find what's going to work for me. And I forgot to mention that here in the kitchen, I changed out the one curtain too. During the fall and winter, I have that white one with the red stripes that you guys have all seen in my coffee corner. And this is something that I picked up at Savers. Um, I think it was last year. I showed it one of my hauls. It was a really long valance, so I just cut it down to size and then like iron hemmed it shut. But I just think it's really cute in a small dose like this. And then on the window below it, I put a little blue and white bird. And he was from Michael's a few years ago. So now we are going to go to the bedroom and I'll show you guys what I did in there. Okay, so here in the bedroom, I changed out the duvet cover. And this is the Ikea Strand Crippa. Um, it's just a really pretty floral print. But it's not too girly, so it's okay. And then I just have the Martha Stewart blanket that I found at Salvation Army there. On my nightstand, all I did was add this little cotton ball bunny. And he was from Goodwill a few years ago. And my Spa Roma uh, essential oil diffuser. I just did a review on that. I changed up the mirror on the wall. And this was... Last summer at TJ Maxx I found this and fell in love with it. And it looks really heavy duty like wood, but it's actually a really light plastic. So you can see I still have the pine trees outside. I'm actually trying to plan a trip to Ikea to pick up some lavender. I am not going to try real lavender again this year because it failed so badly last year. So if I get those plants, I will show you those in a haul too. And this is just over here on that dresser the taller one. I have the window frame and I just draped some bunny garland over it. I put that white picture from the bathroom in here and I put some dogwood branches in it. And then another one of those little lambs. This is that carrot pot from Walmart. And then a doorstop that I picked up at Michael's a few years ago. And then over here I just switched up the little display here. So I put out a dictionary that I got from my dad, the little cow, some of these little wooden handles, which I still don't know what they are. I found them on clearance at TJ Maxx for like 49 cents. Um, I thought maybe they were part of like a pepper mill or a cookie press or something and maybe they were broken. Um, but I liked them just the way they looked, so I took them for that. And then I have another Ikea plant here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my finds, um, my things from last year, and then how I incorporated everything. I will do my porches in a separate video. It's just been too cold lately to go out there and do anything. Um, so as soon as the weather warms up, I'll get the stuff put away, and then I'll get the new stuff out. 
Um, so I'll show you guys that coming up soon. But for now, thank you for watching.